Hello and welcome back. My name is Amulli and you are watching Mesha. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA IDE for Java, Kotlin, Scala, Groovy and Android development. So this IDE is available in two editions. The first one is the free one, open source community edition, which has less features and the other one is commercial which is enterprise edition for which supports many languages javascript frameworks like react vue js and angular as well and few frameworks like spring java ee so to get this ide you simply visit this website jetbrains.com slash idea and hit enter I will leave this link in the description below and then you simply scroll down this is really intelligent IDE so it says deep intelligence out of the box experience smart code completion so really awesome for Java developers framework specific assistant assistance for for paid in paid edition and many more features so these are the languages and tools that it supports because it has few built-in tools and support frameworks as well like spring java jboss as i told you before and these are the web development frameworks so you can go ahead and have a look at the features by clicking this link or you simply go to idea slash features it will take suppose at the same place yeah features slash features and then you simply go ahead and download the right one for your requirements so this is what it supports in open source apache 2.0 licensed uh, free edition community edition it supports git svn and mercurial maven gradle and sbt android java kotlin groovy and scala languages and in commercial you get a lot of things okay javascript typescript database tools like sql detecting duplicate duplications and all that compare editions so this is available for all of the operating systems uh, windows mac os and linux as well so depending on your operating system choose the right one so i'm going to try this free and open source go ahead and click here and select the right one for your system and then click if you click these it's going to download this specific uh, file system type and or package i would say so go ahead and click here for microsoft windows 64 bit and this is the thank you page for intellij idea now i'm going to select the location where i want to save it so go ahead and save it here so what i've done to save our time it's going to take eight or nine minutes on my system so what i'm going to say cancel i already have downloaded it for installation to save our time so i'm going to go on my desktop and here we have this idea 19.2.4 exe download so go ahead and locate your exe package idea exe package and install it one more thing before you start installing jetbrains intellij idea you need to have java jdk or open jdk installed on your system okay so if you don't have if you don't have jdk already installed on your system go ahead and watch my video i, I will leave the link in the description or you can get it from the card so here we are go ahead and right click on it open it or you simply double click on it okay so depending on the operating system if you have 7 8 microsoft windows 7 or 8 you will get this window so on microsoft windows 10 it says something like this this may come up or may not come up so let's go ahead and see this will say something like would you like to allow this application so you'll simply say install anyway okay so like this this app the app you're trying to install isn't microsoft verified app so 
Windows 10 wants you to install anything from their app store. So go ahead and say install anyway. Now this is going to start the process. And here we have, you'll get another user account control. Say yes. And this is IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition Setup. Go ahead and say next. And this is where it's going to be installed. So I'm going to just shorten this uh, folder name under JetBrain. So this is here under C drive, uh, program files for 64-bit applications and packages, JetBrains and IDEA, uh, sorry, IntelliJ, IntelliJ IDEA folder name. Hit next and this is the installation options for you. Go ahead and hit this to create a shortcut on the desktop and add to the path. Open folder with any as any project. Uh, create association with Java, Kotlin and Groovy. You can be specific with anything here depending on your requirement and then say next. Say install. Now it, this has already created the shortcut on my desktop and this is a huge file 500 somewhat 600 somehow in MB megabytes so it's going to take some time so just pause the video once it's done then follow it wonderful so installation process is complete now completing IntelliJ idle community edition setup is here so you can see you can select whether you want to restart a computer right now or later so I'm going to say I want to manually reboot it later so go ahead and say finish now this is here so it's a shortcut for IntelliJ IDEA community edition if you just double click it's going to launch it otherwise you can find it from here go to your start menu and click here and this is going to start the IntelliJ ID, IDEA IDE so here we are community edition 2019.2 and 3 is yet to be released in just few month week whatever so you need to have JDK installed JavaScript sorry Java JDK or open JDK which is freely available and set to the path as well so if you haven't installed JDK and set it to the path please go ahead and watch my video I'll leave the link in the description or you can get it from the cart as well from here somewhere top on the right on the right here so this is welcome to IntelliJ idea window and you can create a new project import a project from any other uh, IDE like NetBeans open if you already have one and check out from version control so git or mercurial subversions and obviously you can configure it okay so let's go ahead and create a new project so go ahead and click on here and so this has already create uh, selected the SD uh, sorry Java JDK I've got 14 open JDK 14 here you can see and then we are going to create it so simply nothing I have not to select an additional library and framework I do not want to select anything so it's not selected you have to check this box okay if you need to I have not selected it now go ahead and say next create a project from Templates are simple command line app. This is compulsory. Go ahead and say next. Let's go ahead and name it. So I'm going to say name or just say hello world. Hello. And then say finish. This is also going to create the base package. So that's very important. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish. Now loading components and launching idea. So reopening files and all that. I'm just going to maximize it. So this created everything here. You can simply go to uh, edit to just uh, uh, enlarge the font size. And then you've got 
where is it uh, okay so you can fix this one as well configure automatically okay so you'll get elevated rdxt which is going to configure this for us and then okay so appearance toolbar enter preset so you can just explore it let's go ahead and run this package so basically this has created this package for us project and it's a simple module that you have here so under source we've got everything here main.java now you go ahead and say something here so simply say you can say something like hello world from IntelliJ idea and then so it saves automatically you don't need to press keep pressing control s or command s and then you simply have to run it so simply go ahead and run now this is going to take a little bit time to build and compile everything and then launch it so okay open jdk platform you may get this okay so go ahead and say allow access allow access so it just disappeared now you can see this is compiled and it's working perfectly fine so this is how basically you download install JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA the IDE for Java basically JVM languages Java Scala Ruby and then we've got Kotlin as well so that's it for this video if you have any issue installing this IntelliJ IDEA on your system please leave your comment your question suggestion in the section below the comment section and i will be more than happy to answer it thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe to my channel have a good day bye for now